Our entire lives pretty much live on our phones right now, so losing one is a major deal. Losing it at the bottom of Saguaro Lake feels maybe a little bit worse. So Ian is here with a good story about how some scuba divers found a phone, managed to reunite it with the owner who obviously would think this thing was lost forever. Oh yeah, I remember losing a pair of Oakleys when I fell off a jet ski when I was that 10. That was a good thing. It, yeah, <laughs> well maybe it was. This was at Saguaro Lake. I never got them back, but hey, I didn't know Jenny and Steve Smith. So they're a couple and they like to scuba dive as a hobby, but soon their hobby turned into another hobby as they started finding stuff underwater. They're like underwater treasure hunters. So they started finding things in local lakes like iPhones, uh, iWatches, purses, sunglasses, wedding rings, you name it. In some cases, they were able to recover the number and get the phone back to the owner. Recently, a GCU, uh, GCU student, his name is uh, Tommy Rohde, he was one of those people. He lost his phone in Saguaro Lake a few months ago and then recently got a call from the Smiths saying they found it. He got the phone back, it works, and he was able to recover all of his high school senior and freshman year pictures he thought were gone forever. It was a really cool experience, like getting that back. And then I like kind of looked through it, looked at all the pictures. I was like, I, I didn't even remember taking some of these. I'm so glad that I get to look at these again, so. It's awesome to find things. It's always fun to find something, but then when you can bring something back to somebody that they thought they lost, valuable things, pictures, it's just a cool feeling. That is so cool. Steve and his wife, Jenny, they found so many things that they started a YouTube channel talking about their adventures. It's called Trip and Dive. They don't charge anything uh, to find these items and get them back to people. Say it's just fun to watch your reaction. And an interesting Channel 3 history, Scott Passmore told me that he lost a wireless mic at the bottom of Saguaro Lake. <laughs> so maybe we could get the Smiths to go back out It was there. the first one that the station ever had. Oh, oh no. So when, like, this is a when great was, idea. When was that? It's been a few years. <laughs> That's a few years ago. Right, we're going to have to take you out there with them. It wouldn't be compatible with today's technology. Oh, yes. Let's just say <laughs> that, right? <All> right. <laughs> Love that story, Ian. Thank you.